Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to continue with our dictionary of our lowercase letters and what we're going to do is we're going to take a word and we're going to find its value if we were to assign its sum, if we were to assign each value, each letter a value. So let's say happy. So, all right. And if you have not watched the previous uh, video on, uh, don't remember the episode number, but it's uh, zip zip dict zip a dictionary how to zip a dictionary so uh it's just a couple episodes ago i think it's two so if you haven't seen that go watch that and come back and watch this so okay um sorry let's run this sorry it's key sorry so here are the values so a z is worth 26 and a is worth one so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to do this with a for loop, then I'm going to show you how to do it with list comprehension. And you'll see that the list comprehension is much cleaner and more concise, but I'll show you both ways. And what your goal is, is to get to the point where you're writing in uh, comprehension and not for loops. So, and if you don't know what list comprehension is, go do a search on that on my page and, uh, and, you, and you'll see it and understand. It. So, all right. Let's get into it. So, let's do let's do a loop first. All right. So first, we have to assign some sort of discriminant value to count, right? Because we're going to have to, as we go through, we're going to have to increment up. I have a video on increment if you haven't seen that. If you've stumbled across this, across this somehow. So, okay, so for also, real quick, how do we pull up a letter or a value? Because this is going to be the key, this is going to be the value. So, A, what should come up? One. So, this is the way we're going to do this. So, each time through the loop, we're going to increment count by what? by our key with our i. This is i, so that's going to be our letter going in through here. So it's key, i, then after each time, or after the final, we get out of our indention, print count. Hang on one second. All right, I want to make sure we were recording. All right. So now, so H A P P Y has a value. Happy. That string has a value of sixty-six. So that is a for loop. Now, now let's do this as list comprehension and see see how small we can get it. So count. Let's let's knock this out. So okay, what do we do with list comprehension? We put it all inside. I don't think come to think of it, I don't think I've done a video on sum, but sum's pretty self explanatory, right? So alright. Here's our list. So we go for I in word, but here's the kicker with list comprehension. Whatever you're gonna do to I goes in front of the four. So what what we do here for key I, right? Uh, 
okay? What do I do? Whenever we have an exception like this, it's highlighted here, it's always the line before. Didn't gray out, did I? Forgot a parentheses. So, so lo and behold, we did this two different ways, get the same answer. So all right, here's a list comprehension using a sum function, because it's going to sum. So what this does is this puts into a list each time. So that list actually looks like this. Let's go through key of H, then the key of what, A? would be one, right? Then key of P, two of those, and then key of Y, correct? So we have eight plus one plus 16 plus 16 plus 25. So that's actually what this looks like. It's eight. This is how the list would look, just so you can kind of visualize it in your head. Let's do this another way. Call it total. So you can kind of see. I'm going to do this the long way, so you can see what this is doing up here. So we got 8, 1, 16, 16, and then what, 25? Close out the brackets. Sum, tote. 66. So this right here is the same thing as this list comprehension. And then we put the sum around it. So I know this is a, can be a little much, but go back and look at list comprehension. It'll sink in. Same thing. And we'll go back and watch some videos. I got these all pieced out in little, little pieces. So this is one way to do this. Next video, I'm going to show you um, with the Unicode. I'm going to show you an even simpler way so we don't even have to download all this. It's going to be even smaller and more clean and concise. But don't forget to click the like button and that subscribe button. Please leave any comments below, any questions, concerns, uh, if you'd like me to go more in depth or touch on anything that I have not done so far. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys are getting something out of this and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.